Um, if I'm honest, this last year has been hell in a lot of ways for, for our group. We've gone through some really tough times and, you know, this group stuck together through thick and thin. And, you know, we knew this win was coming and not many people believed in us. We kept believing and that performance was one of the most complete performances we've done as a squad. You know? What we've got ahead of us, it's it's been a really long journey to get to the point of qualifying for the World Cup and, and now we've kind of had a tournament where we can start to work on different areas of our game and the results haven't gone our way this last couple of weeks but in terms of like seeing the progression in individuals um, and us as a team in, in different areas of our game it's, it's super exciting that we've got another kind of five six months to keep progressing with that and as a squad we've never been more together and, and that's so important. Let's help I stick together and we move forward. trying to make our fans proud. They've been incredible for the last couple of years and just that, that fan base has grown and grown and we want to keep doing everything we can on the pitch to inspire as many girls to, to pick up a rugby ball. And Explain your, how you're feeling right now. I am just over the moon. I'm so, so proud of, of every single person within our squad, the, the 30 players we have here, the players we have back home, and to be honest, the players that have played for Scotland over the last 12 years, you know, it's been 12 years since we've been to World Cup, and a lot of what we've talked about is, is doing it for all the women that have pulled on the shirt before us. Scotland finished fourth in the Six Nations.